I just very proud and honored uh, to have been selected by my peers, my colleagues, um, to be the, the minority leader of this, the largest caucus ever since 1966. So um, it's pretty historical and exciting. You know, statewide, looking at the issues, obviously we know that, that education is still a big issue. The funding, the mechanism for funding, we know that we still have a teacher shortage, teacher retention issues. I mean, I'm still visiting classrooms that um, unfortunately have teachers that aren't certified. I feel very hopeful that we'll be able to work with, with the new um, education uh, secretary, uh, Ms. Hoffman. I'm just really excited about that and that maybe we can, you know, incrementally start working on those issues that affect outside of the metropolitan area, Maricopa County and Pima County, because those are they're a different kind of issue that, that our teachers are having. So education's a big issue. Um, you know, first and foremost that we hear a lot of is the water issue. Um, so that's got to get taken, you know, ha has to be dealt with in this, in this legislative session and pretty early on. Um, we have peop uh, members on both sides of the aisle working on recidivism and, and sentencing reform. We know the Department of Corrections, one of the largest budgets in the, in the state of Arizona agency at a billion dollars that we need to start curtailing, you know, how many people we incarcerate. So we do have to look at those issues. So I think those, you know, those are very important. Uh, there's so many other ones, workforce development, infrastructure. Uh, we've been neglecting our roads for so many years that we're going to have to play catch up very quickly. Um, and of course, you know, as I said, workforce to make sure that the jobs are there for our, our young people that, get, that are leaving our universities with degrees in hand. And we need to make sure they stay in Arizona. I think now um, um, the majority, the slight majority, um, realizes that they're going to have to work with us. Um, I think we saw a lot of that in the last session where we were called upon um, with the opioid legislation. Our caucus played a very big part of that legislation. Um, the governor's office and the majority party came to us and asked us for, you know, many of our ideas, um, anything that we thought that would improve the legislation. And with that, they needed our votes. So it was a coming together of minds. We sat down at a table worked at the legislation and I think we came together with for something very very good for Arizona I, is it perfect no can we fix it yes but the idea that we built something together I, I think that should be a model for uh, what we can do at 2931 so I, I, I think we're in a very good place um, I'm very excited that I, I can meet with Speaker Bowers Speaker-elect Bowers you know I just give him a call we talk on the phone I can go downstairs and and he'll uh, sit down and talk with us. Um, last year, uh, Mr. Mesnard was very good about weekly meetings. I'm sure we're gonna keep that up. Um, in fact, Speaker-elect Bowers has said that we will, and I, I take him at his word. So those are important meetings where we can sit down and not just talk about what's happening here in the House and with our members, but what's happening outside the doors. And I think it's important that, that we talk about those issues, that he lets his members know that it's okay to work with us. Um, I just addressed one of the largest freshman class of, uh, of legislators, you know, 10 minutes ago. And the one thing I asked them was to work together, not to worry about what letter was next to their name, whether it be a D or an R, um, it doesn't matter. If they can come together and build some great legislation, then bring it forth. I think at the end of the session, if we've had some wins, and those wins would be legislation that was built together, um, if, if we look out and our electorate says that, that we were responsive to them, that we were open, that they could come here and help us debate some of the issues, and that means that in committees that we're listening to both, you know, bills from Democrats and Republicans, bipartisan bills also, and have our, our electorate come in and talk to us about these bills, I think those are wins. We want to hear from the people that voted us in here, even the people that didn't vote for us. Um, we want to make sure that that word gets out, that, that we're here to help.